today's one of those days where I just keep starting a vlog and then being like, I can't. That's not. Start over. I don't even know where I am. <laughs> Happy Halloween. And look at this. God has decided that I needed a bug infestation. So there's ladybugs everywhere. I don't know how much of that you can actually see, but there's like a bazillion. There's like 50 ladybugs just in this area. There's like 120 of them up there. All over the side of my house. Sorry if I'm making you car sick or motion sick by throwing you all around, but a bazillion bugs. Um, I <laughs> cracked myself up. Let's see if I can tell this story without touching on like anybody else's personal business. But um, after my ex, I got onto a dating website and started talking to somebody that has had a really healing effect, but um, we had to finally face that like long-term we don't match up. And um, he brought up, he was gonna start like looking again. And I was like, I feel pretty at peace. I don't really wanna, you know, look or anything like I really have this vision of like I've got all, like I want to go explore and go move all over and live all over and meet all of these different people and like be part of these amazing groups and meet all these like powerful people that work in personal development and all of this stuff and like I would like to be available for feeling like some perfect you know match with somebody that I actually meet up with in real life um and then and then and then I also was like but I've only ever checked out OkCupid and there, there have to be lots of dating websites out there, right? Like maybe there's a better dating website and I have signed up for like seven of them. And it's just kind of cracking me up because it feels like the most absurd thing ever. But I just made like seven dating profiles <laughs> and I don't really even want to talk to any of the guys that are on them. It's just been interesting to explore all of the different dating services that are out there. And um, I feel like a little kid being like, what's this button do? What's this button do? What's this button do? <laughs> so I think there's one of them that's like, looks like it's got a pretty significant paywall. I don't even know what the cost would be, but I don't like that concept. I mean, maybe I should, maybe I should be looking only for people who want to pay to date. I don't know what I'm talking about, but there's two of them that are like literally like, is somebody just selling a blueprint for a dating app? Uh, they both have like tons of tons of users and tons and tons of five star reviews. So it, it works, I guess. Um, I don't even remember what they're called. So sorry. Uh, and I joined what like coffee and bagel, coffee meets bagel, ba ba Bumble, Bumble, Zeus. I think Zeus is the one that it looks like. It's like, let me look at this person. It's like you can't even look at that person unless you do something. But we can let you look for them for free for once. Once I'm like, I don't know if that's the person. I'm. I'm gonna go do something else. <laughs> and I still love OK Cupid. Um, I love the fullness of it and the depth of all the questions. I mean, not that the questions are necessarily deep, but the depth that you get to when you answer so many questions and match up with somebody who's answered lots of questions and like the match percentage and all of that stuff. And I, I love finding somebody who has this like really fully fleshed out profile like I do. Um, and, but I don't really in particular at the moment feel like meeting anybody. I just, you know, honest to God, here's what's going on. This happens to me at the end of every single cycle, right? So my cycle is ending. <clears throat> and um, usually I download games because my mind is just so deprived for serotonin and dopamine. And I find some dumb fucking game to just when I like push myself in the morning to get some stuff done. And then at the end of the day when everything is winding down and I feel like crap, I've got some game that I let myself zone out in for a couple of hours um, to help past the time because like life feels really uncomfortable in your head when you're PMSing. I don't know if you know this. Of course you do. <laughs> but it's just, I guess it's just that. I mean, it's not, it's not that I, I don't even want to date anybody right now. Like I, I kind of made that mistake of like being like, oh, this is the kind of person I am. And I have, you know, these are my dreams and these are the things that I want to do. But I'm, I'm not, I can't currently live that yet. Um, I'm still building my business and like, working to make the money that would allow me to do that. Um, so I just kind of like created kind of a, an uncomfortable situation. And that was unfortunate um, that I did that and I didn't do it deliberately. Like I really thought that things were moving faster than they were and I keep making that mistake, but they will move. They're just 
taking their time, which is fine. Um, so I don't want to keep putting myself in a situation where I feel uncomfortable with the fact that like things are taking time. Of course they're taking time. Anyway, like I said, I mean, one day I'm going to have lots of money and I'm going to be out doing everything that I want to do. And I'm going to be out in public doing amazing things. Like I'd rather meet somebody on a fucking sailboat who also runs a business from their internet and has like wants to start a family. Like I just, I, the world is an infinite place and I don't need to find somebody online if I'm planning on going out there. Right, <clears throat> because once I'm out there, I'm gonna be a match for somebody that's out there. Right now, um, it's kind of a mismatch because I wanna match with somebody who's living a life that I am not up to speed with, right? So it's just kind of funny that like, instead of trying to entertain myself with like a, there was like this um, game called Oasis, which is one of those like click games where you just like tap the fucking screen, like that's pretty much all you do. Um, and I, I just feel like an idiot for enjoying that. But I only enjoy it during PMS week because as soon as my hormones come back online and I have like drive and ambition and all of that stuff, I have no interest in wasting my time. It just feels agitating. I could be getting something done. But during this period of time, I guess, I'm <laughs> just signing up for dating apps, filling out a bunch of profiles. Um, and when I get mindless, just swiping, <laughs> searching. Choosing a new dating app is what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of days until I start bleeding and my hormones reboot and I feel good feelings again and get ready to move back into being productive and doing things in life. <sighs> I guess I have to keep this short because my phone is down to like, let's see, 4%. It's getting exciting. So yeah, <clears throat> um, I just found it really quite, quite hilarious that I was like, I'm really happy with being single. I can see that in the distant future, I'm gonna like match up with somebody who's out there, you know, living this life probably has their own like business where they're really well known and they live a really open life and like we can, you know, create stuff together that's like pretty public and, you know, um, making as much money as we could possibly ever need and like people working underneath of us and like all of this stuff that I have dreamed um, and then decide to like, add to our family and, <clears throat> um, and at the same time, I'm like, I'll try that dating app too. Any more dating apps? Let's try that dating app too. <laughs> Let's try this one. Look at all these new people. <laughs> it's just a game. And I enjoy things that I enjoy. No, that's all that really matters. I don't give a shit if anybody thinks that I shouldn't or has any other opinions because it's my life and I'm enjoying having a back and getting to do what's right for me and not having somebody in my life who tells me that that's wrong. I'm really enjoying this. And time to get back, go plug in my phone, upload the vlog, get a little more work done on my group, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, Fane, can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.